In this lecture, you're going to learn about immediately invoked function expression, also referred as IIFE or IFE. IFE is one of the most popular design patterns of JavaScript programming language and it is used for data privacy. In this lecture, let's understand the basic concepts of IFE and in next lecture, we will see where an IFE can be used. As the name suggests, immediately invoked function expression, for creating an IFE, we are going to use a function expression. So let's write a function expression. And for that, we create a variable first. Let's call it greet. And to this greet variable, let's assign an anonymous function. Now this function is not going to take any parameter and it is simply going to log a message in the developer console. And let's say the message is hello world. So here we have created a function expression. Now, when we store this anonymous function in this greet variable, and when we log this greet variable, you will see that this greet variable is storing the definition of this anonymous function. So here you will see that this greet variable, when we log this greet variable, you will see that it is storing this function definition. And that's why when we use parenthesis on this greet variable like this, it executes that function. So it will execute that function and it will log hello world in the developer console. Okay, so here we are using parenthesis after the function definition. And where this function definition is stored, it is stored in this greet variable. So what will happen if we use this parenthesis immediately after this function expression like this? Do you think it will execute this function? Let's see that. So before that, let's comment this function call and let's also comment this. And let's save the changes and now when I refresh the page, you will see that it has executed that function expression. So here we are defining this function and then executing it immediately. And this is immediately invoked function expression. So what will this greet variable will store now? Because since we are executing this function immediately, it is not going to uh, store the definition of this function. So this variable will now store the value returned by this anonymous function. And in this example, we are not returning anything. So undefined will be returned and that will be stored in this greet variable, right? So now if we try to log this greet variable in developer console, this time it will not log the function definition. Instead, it will log the returned value from this function. Now this function is not returning anything, so undefined will be returned and that's what you see logged here. Now let's say this function is returning some values. So let's say it returns 10. This time when this function gets executed, it will return 10 and that 10 will be stored in this greet variable. So here we go and now it is storing 10. This greet variable is storing 10. Okay, so here we are creating an anonymous function and we are calling it immediately after its definition. And then whatever result it is returning, we are storing it in this greet variable. Now, let's say we don't want to store this return value in a variable. So what we want is, let's copy this and let's use it here. So we want to use, you know, define a function like this and then execute it immediately. So is this possible? Let's see that. So let's save the changes. And now when we refresh the page, we will get an error that the function statement requires a function name. And this is because now the JavaScript engine thinks that we are trying to define a function declaration. Okay, so if you remember, there are two ways to define a function in JavaScript. One is function declaration and one is function expression. So since we are not storing this function in any variable, JavaScript thinks that we are trying to create a function declaration and a function declaration requires a name, right? So let's give it a name like this. Let's call it greet2. So now this is a function declaration. Okay, 
so here we have given the name let's save the changes again and now when we refresh the page we will get another error and this error is saying that unexpected token is found and that is because after a function declaration you cannot use parenthesis like this okay so this is not allowed after function declaration so that means we cannot execute a function like this without storing it in a variable so how can we achieve this now that is very simple all you have to do is you have to wrap this complete anonymous function within parenthesis so let's wrap this within parenthesis so now javascript engine will consider this function as an expression okay and on that expression we can use another set of parentheses to execute that function okay so now this function will get executed so let's refresh the page again and now you can see so this hello world is coming from here and this 10 is what we have stored in this greet and we are logging that and this hello world is coming from this function so this function has executed immediately after its definition and this is immediately invoked function expression so this is a function expression which is being invoked immediately once its definition is complete and this is called as immediately invoked function expression or iffy now always remember that an iffy or immediately invoked function expression is an expression okay so it should always end with a semicolon so if we don't uh, you know include this semicolon here and we save this it will work fine okay so it is working fine but after this if we try to call another immediately invoked function expression let's copy it here let's copy this definition and let's use it here and let's say this time it is logging hello user okay so now since we have not included a semicolon here and now if we try to execute this it will give you give us an error okay so it is not recognizing this as a function and that's why we should always end this with a semicolon so now it will work as expected okay so now it is working so remember that every if we should end with a semicolon in order to avoid any unexpected errors okay now let's understand some other concepts of if we and for that I am going to create another immediately invoked function expression so let's comment this code here and I hope you have understand the concept of if we so let's create another immediately invoked function expression so to create an immediately invoked function expression the first thing we, we do is we write you know a function expression within the parenthesis so write an anonymous function within parenthesis okay so let's create these parentheses and inside this let's write our anonymous function okay and here we simply want to log a message in the developer console and let's say good morning user welcome back okay and to execute this function we have to use another set of parentheses so the second thing which we need to keep in mind is use another set of parentheses to execute function okay so let's use another set of parentheses outside this parentheses like this and it should always end with a semicolon so third point is if we should always end with a semicolon so let's use that semicolon here 
and now let's save the changes and now when we refresh the page we see this message logged here so this if he is working as expected now let's say your ify is also taking some parameters so let's say this function is expecting two parameters name and time of day okay and in the message we are going to use that so we're going to use this time of day and then a space and here we are going to use name okay so where will we pass the values for this name and time of day so if you remember when we call a normal normal function during the call only we pass the values for its parameter but since it is an immediately invoked function expression how we will pass the values for this name and time of day well we can pass it inside these parentheses so let's say name is john and time of day is evening so evening now if we save the changes and if we refresh the page it should log good evening john welcome back okay so this is how you can pass parameters to your function immediately invoked function expression now you might ask why do we need to invoke a function immediately why can't we use a function as we use it normally like why don't we define a function and then call it why we actually need immediately invoked function expressions well sometimes you need to invoke a function immediately for scope reasons so an ify is one of the most popular design patterns in javascript and the advantage of using ify is that any variable and function declared inside it are inaccessible to the outside world in simple terms we use ify for providing data privacy in javascript and we will learn that in our next lecture in detail if you like this lecture like this video subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends